Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike. I'm Tanya. With Fowler Family Farm. Okay, so what we're doing today is setting up a new fence area for Jenny, our livestock guardian dog, to Geneva. eat. Geneva. Yeah, her real name is Geneva, which is named after Tanya's grandmother. But we're gonna wrap this telephone pole in this fence, and it also wraps, wraps up the uh, water spigot as well. So we're gonna enclose that. That's gonna be a walkthrough gate for us to walk through into that area. And I'll be able to feed my goats from that area without getting attacked, hopefully, is my plan. And I'll be able to feed Jenny in that area. Uh, it just won't be covered. And you're gonna attach your feeders to that fence? In another too? video, if I, unless I have time on this video, if I have time on this video, my plan is to attach some feeders to that fence that we're putting up right now for the goats to eat out of. That'll probably be a separate video, we'll see. Oh, sorry. But, all right so let me show you how we uh drug our cattle panels over here and got our t-post over in the meantime i'm gonna go mow bye so hopefully you guys can hear me over the tractor noise but this front area right here where the goats kind of hang out a lot they don't necessarily eat any of this grass it just kind of grows but i think it's just mainly because this is where they uh sleep and hang out and use the bathroom they don't like to eat where they you know use the bathroom so this is the telephone pole that i'm going to enclose i want to wrap a fence around that and just make a v out of it and that's where jenny will be eating and then the goats will eat on the outside but tanya is on the tractor she loves this tractor she's just going to bow it down a little bit because it is it's up to the middle of our shins and it's great grass the cows love this but I don't have a cow over here right now, so. So this area right here is real hilly. It doesn't do it any justice on video. But there's a lot of hills in this terrain right here. There's a lot of slope. I mean, that's kind of level. And you can see it sloping down that way and towards the pond. And you can see what I mean by, see all the, See all the goat pebbles down there the left for us? They sleep in this corner every night. Okay, so this is how I grabbed my cattle panels and pulled them over here. I just pulled them off the trailer, which is over on the other side of the barn over there. And I just drug them over here with the four-wheeler. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Just use the rope. Just use the rope to uh, tie it onto the four-wheeler and just drug it. I just made sure this front end it's kind of up off the ground. There's probably two or three inches, but it's raised up off the ground so it doesn't snag. And then I put some T-posts on here. Okay, while Tanya's mowing on the tractor, I'm gonna go ahead and give this area right here where I'm putting the fence up a quick mow with the uh, zero turn. And I'll probably either get some big shears or you know, it's my uh, weed eater and weed eat around this as, as well, so. y'all can hear me because of the tractor but i've got an electrical line running right through here all the way to my barn so i gotta be careful i, I think i remember where it's at I shouldn't hit it right here because i've had this sprayed before 
And I shouldn't be going into the ground deep enough to really hit the electrical line, but just in case whoever put it in didn't go very deep, need to be careful. Okay, I got this cattle panel up so you can kind of see what we're doing with it. This isn't exactly where it's going. It's going to go over to the right, maybe another half a foot. So I have plenty of clearance for that water hydrant. And then I plan on cutting it right in here somewhere and just making it straight across right here and then back to another slanted uh, piece right there. But for this side, this slanted piece, I'm not going to use one of my cattle, my new cattle panels. I'll show you what I'm going to use. So I did let Megatron and his does out for a little while so they could eat some of this green grass over here. And as y'all can see, there's the feathers from that white chicken that was taken. I mentioned that in my last video. And a lot of y'all mentioned putting a uh, game camera up, a trail cam, and we're going to do that. It'll probably be in my next video or the video after. I plan on putting it up today, but it won't be in this video. I guess got too much to do. But Megatron's doing good. The goats really aren't picking on him anymore. They're letting him around them. Tanya's yelling at me. Let's go see what she wants. It's not starting. Uh -uh. Well, I didn't break it. I just got off of it. So bring the bring the deck up, mowing deck. That didn't matter. Okay. Um, get off. Step off. No. Pull pull the hands in. The handles. Push them in. Now get behind it and pull it back just about two or three inches. All right, now get on it. Hey, Jenny. Hi, girl. Huh. Just, oh, there oh, you go. Oh, that's why. There you go. For the blades. You're not supposed to stop it with the blades going. That's dangerous. I didn't. I pushed it down. I didn't push it down all the way. Oh. That's what it was. Okay, now back to what I actually brought you guys over here to show you. I got sidetracked by the goats and Tanya. Uh, this right here was Dayla's old jump gate. It's a cattle panel where I cut some out and added her jump gate. And I would actually was able to lock it as well. Because I only wanted Dayla in here twice a day to train her. I didn't want her spending all of her time in here. I wanted her out with the goats. So I caught her when she was a puppy getting in there and staying in there all day. So. This is why I put this, that's why I put this on here to lock her out, but I'd make sure she'd get in there twice a day to eat. Cause that's all this is for, is for her to get back here and eat. But then it also served for another purpose cause I actually had a goat that could jump through this. Out of my 13 goats back then that I had, one goat would, could figure out how to get through there. And that was a, not an older goat. The horns weren't big enough really yet for it to get stopped. Uh, and that's another reason why I added this piece also because that triangle was just too big at one point for some of the goats. So after I did all this work, one goat was still able to get through. So this lock kind of helped keep that goat out as well. So I'm going to take this panel off uh, and take it over there and put it up over there so I don't have to cut a whole new panel. Okay, I just undid this fence and uh, I did not record that simply because I figured it'd take me a while. I only have one good charged battery other than the one that I'm being used. So. I'm charging two other batteries. So I didn't really have the battery to spend on video on this. Uh, but it is off. I'm going to carry it over to the other pasture and we'll put it up. Come here, Chip. Come here, buddy. Come here, Chip. Come here. Come here. Hello.
Okay guys, so just so you know, I went in and put these brackets right here on this on this T post. No, she didn't. And I secured it tightly. No, with she didn't. Metal brackets here that hold it and it, it's it's looking nice and sturdy. No, she just looked pretty while I did it. <laughs> but I did forget to hit the record button. Like usual, when I tell you guys I forget to record something, I'm just not a professional yet. He does that when I do all the work and he doesn't want anybody to know that. <laughs> He's such a liar. <laughs> not true at all. So I did forget to hit the record button. She did help help hold the fence up a little bit. Jimmy was taking these and yes, way over there Jimmy and I chased her. takes our bag of uh, T-post clips and takes off running with them. So we got to keep them from her. No, no. She's a puppy. She is still a puppy. So I'm going to do this next one. No. Most of you guys have already know how to do this, so it's not like I need to teach you anything. So you're just going to watch me do it. And with this being downhill, it's it doesn't line up straight with the, with the uh, T-post. So we just gotta make it work, do the best we can with it. It'll get the job done. It's not plastic. Yes, you look beautiful. That's not good. That is. Better not. In that case, Suck in. Is that the thumbnail? That's the th no. That's the, that's the thumbnail. No. <laughs> it better not. It, it better not be the thumbnail. I'll beat you. All right, pull that down a little bit. Pull it down. Right there. All right, let's. You want leave that there like that? Yeah, that's fine. So we decided to go a different direction with this now. So I'm going to pull this one up. We're going to use the tractor and the chain real quick just to pull this out of the ground. And we're going to move it closer to this end right here. Because I think hearing about when I get back from vacation, I think I want to actually attach this gate to use. But right now I'm just going to use a piece of cattle panel that I cut off. And as you can see, one of the many benefits of having a tractor. And that was the, not the first try that we've ever done that. What do you mean? We got really good at that whenever we were rebuilding this fence. Oh yeah, yeah. We've done that yeah. hundreds of times. We took every we single T-post out on this three acre, it's over 200 T-posts we took out just like that. Just popped them out. So it was so. kind of comical the first couple. Yeah. <laughs> until we figured it out how to do it. Wow, that's hot. Oh my gosh.
think the last video was improvised. I think we just had to improvise again. The name of the game. It is part of uh, that is part of farming or homesteading. It's hot things anymore for sure. Bring it this way, Mom. Uh, move that camera. Break is brought to you by Gatorade Zero. Not really. <laughs> Not really. It's just our drink of choice. <laughs> come on, Jenny. Come on, Jenny. Come on, girl. Not gonna do it. Jenny, come on. <clears throat> nope, not there. Right here. Come on. Right here. Come on. Yeah, come on. Maybe come too on. tall for her right now. Come here, girl. We'll have to add a step right there. Come here, Come here girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on here. Here, look. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good job. There's old Chip, being the buck that he is, just kind of stays off by himself until he's ready to do some business. And his girls are right here. I come down here and they're all gonna go back up by the gate. Crybaby, what are you doing? What are you doing? Saying hi. You say hi to the camera. Hi, cry baby. Okay, so this is the fence. This is my extra piece. So that's the little triangle I was talking about. Not much of a triangle, but we're, we've decided to put this gate in, but I gotta go buy some material real quick. Couldn't get Jenny to jump through there yet. I may have to add a little step until she grows a little bit more. Maybe a little too tall. Dayla was a tall dog, so it had to be tall for her. Do what? Do you think you'll be able to, she'll be able to get through that gate? Yeah, she probably should be. She should be able to get through here too. That's, that's the size that we have over in the lean-to, and she gets through it. Might have to turn it upside down, though. We'll see. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is use these same hinges on this T-post. I don't know if this will work or not. We're going to see if it does. Uh, the goats are trying to get in here because we have their food, their feed in here. 
So I'm gonna try to use these same hinges on the T-post <clears throat> and then put a bolt through here so that this gate will attach to the T-post. I don't know, we'll see if it works. Jenny's like, do I get to eat? They're all eating from the same one again. Go to goats over here. Now they're all going to come over here. Dayless, or gosh darn. Jenny? Jenny's hungry. Yeah. She knows where her food is. Uh. Jenny, are you hungry, honey? We got yours in there too. You're going to have to teach her how to do it though, Dad. Hey, Chip, what's up? Get you some food, dude. Have a cool angle. Snow White, you win. <laughs> That's her baby there. Mm -hmm. She's okay with that one. So I still got a little work to do to make this right. But this is what I have for now. I had a subscriber that gave me a good idea about using sea, sea, uh, sea perlin for my goat feeder. Jenny, it's not your food. Yuck. No, it's not your food. But anyway, he said to use sea perlin, and I have some of that over, over in the trees over there where I have all my extra iron work for my shop, from all my metal work. <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, see if I have a pretty good stretch of that and I'm gonna attach it to the fence on both sides or just attach these build three or four more of these and attach them to the fence I think that sea purlin is a good idea though let me show you the gate so it's not touching the ground let me give you a, let me give you a close-up right here so that's what I did that's that's on there I mean it's not moving it's you know it's not real it's kind of flimsy but I don't think it's gonna hurt anything show it to you from this way it opens good swings good the goats can't get in there but I'm pretty sure Jenny can still get through there He's to eat hey chip more aggressive honey is he yep he was just pushing me just now i don't think he likes this by his girl huh? he's gonna be so pretty and big just a look in his face just look at him straight on he's beautiful chip chip Yeah, the goats are actually playing with Megatron now instead of hurting him. 
and he's playing back for the most part. <laughs> We're making some progress over here. I think the sea pearlin idea is pretty good. Jenny, that's not your food. I think this helps a lot because it doesn't tip over backwards. Well, I know, but they can still get up their nose up under it and well, yeah, they flip can, it up. But what did they, what did they do? I still need more of them, obviously, even though that one over there is no one's in it. Okay, y'all, that's gonna wrap up another video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It's us just doing a little work in that pasture over there where Megan's trying to go. Oh, the goats got mad at the chickens. Chickens are over here eating too. And sneezing. Yeah. So we did add the fence and the jump gate for Jenny over there. She's gonna have to practice that for a while and I may even have to add a step until she just gets bigger. But we do have that same goat that used to always get in it has already gotten in it She's so yeah. she already she didn't forget <laughs> i thought i was hoping She's maybe smart. she forgot yeah and it's oreo uh she's our smartest goat probably our number one best goat. mama i yeah. guess we'll forgive her yeah so anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you're new to our channel make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button uh don't forget to hit the like button and leave us a comment you got yep, anything else definitely leave us comments we like to yeah we like the comments the back and forth Fun. Yep, let us know what you guys think, how we're doing. Um, we read them all. Do so. you have any suggestions on how we can make things better? What you like to see on the videos? Yep. Because um, I know Mike sometimes when he goes off topic of the farm, he gets all stressed out. But um, a lot of people, a lot of you have said that you like to see those things too. So we're going to yep. take you along on our vacation also. We have a lot of fun things planned, um, which. Yep. Tomorrow, I got to make sure I got everything booked and. Yeah, we. I think we'll have a really good time on this vacation. It's it's. We've definitely needed it, um, yeah. and hopefully, uh, when we're done with the Fort Walton Destin area, we can take two days and go up north to Nashville. Tanya wants to see Nashville. Uh, one of my previous videos, we had we were actually in Nashville, um, dropping off Rai Rai. Right after my surgery, so I didn't get to go. Yeah, she didn't get to go, and she wanted to, and so now we're kind of that direction. It's only a few hours out of the way. So we're gonna go up there and spend a couple of days up there. Um, I think she'll like it. Oh, another thing. Um, mm -hmm. I wanted to see if you guys would comment and let us know if you think, once we get back from vacation, we get settled. If you guys would like to see us going live every Thursday night, um, just leave yeah. us a comment. Uh, Thursday at six. six. We yeah. could try to do 5.30, but that's kind of hard for him to get home and yeah, I, I just I wouldn't be able to make it everything ready home. before we get on live. So yeah, I've got about an hour and ten minute drive home when I leave at that time of day. If I leave later, like if I work overtime and leave late, it's only about a 52, 55 minute drive. Yeah. But if it's rush hour, it's about an hour and ten minutes. So if we can do every six or every Thursday at six, um, let us know what you think about that. Yep, that's our plan. So let us know. Bella, you're hitting the camera. She's in, down here just rolling. <laughs> Okay, guys, we will see y'all on the next video. And just remember to do the good that God puts in front of you. Yes. God bless. God bless y'all. Bye.